I looked over the magic spells that game has. It wasn't hard to find a list on the net. Um, one thing basically struck me there. Uh, we have now 20 mana points. Uh, pretty much the cheapest spells are 5 uh, mid range spells. We're starting to talk about. Fireball, for example, was 10, but when we start to raise the heavy hitting spells, we're talking about uh, 100 or more mana for a single casting of spell. So that's sort of the scale we have to reach. We can't do it with a small mana pool, it just won't work. So mana pool growth will be one of our top priorities at this point on. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to check something else too, but I, I forgot. You know, it's uh, always a bit of a... I'd rather check too little than too much. It's always there's a big fear if you start to learn, actually read something. You read something that you don't really want to read. Uh, I'm trying to keep my exposure to a minimum. Another problem I see with the high magic mana cost is that no matter what stage of the game we are, if we're going to rely on damage spells, we can maybe cast a handful of them no matter what. They're, they're powerful at least uh, as far as hit point uh, or damage points are concerned. I think some kind of fire spell of a high level does something like 500 points damage. For comparison, our fire arrow does 25, so it's quite a bit of difference. And with uh, instant or quick key, quick key use magic potions, we could basically fight at least a couple of fights, sacrificing a large number of potions, but basically spamming very powerful attacks. So there's a, there's a potential for a large burst. However. Most of our fights are against creatures that aren't super tough, but there's a steady supply of them. So currently we can maybe with magic kill one of them, or heavily wound one, and then we'll have to go into melee. And that'll, sooner or later that'll, that'll stop working because of our lacking armor and lacking weapon abilities. So, I already planned on doing a damage spell uh, summoning combo, but I know now I'm more convinced that it will probably be a good idea to get a summoning spell as soon as possible. The problem is the only one available now would be a goblin skeleton, and I'm not, I'm not too big of a fan of trying to get to get a first level spell because. Um, Every spell costs uh, learning points, and I, I don't have Groove Stones either, and I have no idea where can I get them. I haven't been able to buy them from anywhere or anything, so I, I don't know. Uh, can we? I don't think I have a Rune Stone now, for example, so even if I had all the ingredients, I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't make a spell. So what we have is what we have. Let's see what's there. Seems to be sheep at the bottom. Okay, from a quick look, there doesn't appear to be a beach here. And I don't see anything particularly interesting either.
yeah, actually, we hit a dead end there, so that didn't take much time. Let's go check up the ridge, uh, that's right on top of us. That should be right outside the gates. I'm pretty sure I've actually cleaned up the route there already. However, I, I missed the fact that it goes here. What is that? Did I see that? For God's sake, show me the. No, I think it's just weed. It must be uh, seaweed. There is some crap at the bottom, but. Yeah, not spotting anything, anything interesting. Not sure, sure what to do next. We'll probably get a level up though very soon. So what to do with those points? Um, yeah, we have a couple of options. Uh, if we plan on basically continuing the exploration and doing quests without trying to move the main quest forward, uh, I think we should take mana, and that's it. Maybe with an exception, because I'm sort of interested in getting the heart harvesting for the body parts. Because uh, I did notice that a heart of something is quite often an ingredient. It could be that you can get the hearts some other way, that's certainly always a possibility. But it's, uh, it's a few learning points and we would basically guarantee it. Uh, I'll take this one too. Anything special here? But uh, I'm not sure the heart harvesting is something we want to do now because we're talking about the golems and demons summoning at that point, and yeah, we we don't even have, have something as simple as a skeleton or a fireball. So I, I think that's not exactly something. It's not something we should be too concerned about. A lot of ore. I, mean, I haven't seen ore in a long time. A ring. Anything else? Can I see the bottom? I'd like to see the bottom. I cannot see the bottom shitty camera. Want to see the sand beach? Seems the rocky areas don't really have anything. Sand beaches have uh, clams. Nah, uh, doesn't appear that there's anything really here. We have our mana. Yeah. For in us. For in us. My main concern about the rune stones is that they're they're a limited resource. I think they have to be almost. Because they it costs uh, 100 to get one. Uh, I mean, that's the value. Uh, at the same time, rune value 500 for a tier 1 rune. So you could basically produce them uh, to produce probably. Uh, Quite a huge amount of gold if you can find them in the infinite supply. At the same time, if we can't get more than we're. I I'm worried about that it's basically random loot. 
no, no, not random loot, but it's uh, you can't buy them because I haven't seen anyone sell them at the moment. That's my worry. So at least I would hope that a handful can be just purchased from somewhere or given to you. That way you can sort of guarantee that you have a relatively easy access to some kind of basic group of spells and whatever happens with the rest, that can be left to something else. Like, do you happen to find all of them at the correct chests or kill the correct enemies or something like that? But there has to be a very, fairly easily and obviously available group of brewing stone somewhere. I'm hoping it's a chapter thing. In Gothic 1, every time you move on to a chapter, you basically get access to better stuff. I'm hoping it's more or less something like that. So, in that sense, it might be worthwhile while to talk to the paladin and I assume very likely that's the end of chapter 1 because it's a uh, very sizable job to do ah, yeah, probably here so we've done, you have to do quite a bit of work to reach the point ah, short bow and arrows Scroll. I definitely haven't been here. What scroll? Anything new? I don't think so. Maybe we got an ice arrow. I don't like the scrolls. Because they use up mana. Well, the higher level spells are certainly worthwhile because they all use uh, 5 mana. The lower level ones are totally worthless. Because if you have the spell, you're going to use the same. I mean, if you have the rune, you're going to use the same amount of mana as the scroll anyway. You don't lose the item when you use it. So it's a. Uh, they're totally useless to our actual spellcaster. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, another stone tablet? Yeah. There has to be a place where you can learn how to read these. Why would he, you would even other, in other case allow you to look at one stone tablet if you couldn't learn to read them? Holy crap. One is bad. Stop right there, you low life. I love it when bandits say that to me. You know that I'm just gonna murderize you in a second. We can take one down, but be enough to turn the tables. You have a decent armor, decent combat ability, at least on this level, this type of uh, enemy.
White rum, beer, fish, and uh, gold nuggets. Don't you have a weapon too? Apparently not. He did, but. Okay, yeah, what the hell happened here? Where did the other guy disappear to? Maybe this guy just used a healing potion or something. By the way, it's not gonna be here alone. Okay, um, please change the target. Please, 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 for the love of God, change the target. I don't want to target that. Ah, shit. I, I need to, Yeah, they're all in the grade. I don't want to target any of them. Jesus Christ. Uh, what I'm basically trying to... I don't want to target any of them, can't you? It's... fuck. I can't run away because if I sort of look in the, their direction, it locks on the one of them, and then if I try to yes. run, naturally it goes directly at them. I think we're going to have to rest unless we can uh, lure them to come at me one by one. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to find out more or less that. Uh, the guy who we basically escaped from at the start, did he just heal up? And yes, he did. Again, stuck on the camera, stuck on target. It's It wor works better that way when you're doing pro yes! Run as fast as you can! proper fighting. When you sort of want to check the situation, it doesn't. It's a detrimental, detrimental feature. You can't just take a quick glance. I have to say, this type of system, I probably like the Severance Blade of Darkness the best, because there you can lock the camera, easily cycle through targets, and uh, ignore the camera target lock entirely if you want to. So. It's not that far of a different system from this, but it's uh, you can alter it to fit uh, how you want to play it, and you can, uh, can't keep anything to themselves. on the fly, also alter the system if the situation requires a different type of system, break the lock or cycle enemies like this thing. This isn't bad, it works fairly well in uh, typical fighting situations, it just, when things get odd or uh, complicated for whatever reason, then it sort of starts to be the one system doesn't fit all the situations all that well. I think this is the closest place we can race in. I probably have to do an, at least another trip in addition to this. Doesn't look like we can uh, get to them one at a time. So if we could get it at least two at a time, we could use our spell power to blast that one. 
then finish him up, then fight the other at the same time. Adonis saw that this way nothing could exist at all. By the way, it's a decent training for us. These aren't proper bandits, they lack the strength and weapons to really do us, us a lot of harm. Having a spell or a scroll in your Especially this type of arrow attack on a quick slot, that's an excellent idea. Even if you don't intend to use it, because it locks on the target from a long distance, and uh, in a terrain like this, it's impossible to see targets from uh, all that long of a way, usually. So, this gets around the problem. At least you know the troubles uh, heading your way. Okay. We need two kills. If we manage to kill two guys, we can probably kill the third one without going back to the city. Probably. Assuming that there's only three left. I don't think this is a much of a bandit cavern. It doesn't seem to be related to anything. Uh, I'm assuming it's just a random, randomly little something for you to enjoy. Break the fucking target lock, you piece of shit! Yeah, I I'm. I'm basically strafing these pastors because I can't break the lock. Jesus yes. Christ! Run as fast as you can. Oh my God, game! I hate you. Yes. Run as fast as you can. <laughs> Whoa. Loafer. Could, uh, if you actually move... Okay, this is a solid position for us. I don't think I can harm the bastard though. Because I'm too close. So, what works for the lasers doesn't work here. Yep. They have too good of a weapon. Thanks, camera. Wonderful fighting in this cut. And he can block us infinitely. Uh, we, we won't win like this. He is a better fighter than I am. So what we need to do is go in there, get their attention, hope that the shitty camera system doesn't get us killed, and uh, then just die away.
They smell me a lot. this yeah. deserve that low life how do I break them off we did sort of succeed uh, in that in the first attempt one of them stayed fight us to two retreat it Something like that is what we need to do. Okay, could you please stop locking the targets? Stop right there, you low life. I don't want to lock the fucking target, you piece of shit. Allowing me to see anything. Yes! Run as fast as you can! Um I, I'm stuck. I can't do shit. Okay, thank you, game. Thank you for nothing, you fucking piece of shit game. <sighs> okay, now we have control problems again, but they Of a totally different nature. But still, it boils off to the same thing. You can't do what you want to do, and you end up fighting the controls instead of the enemy. So, stuck in the corner without the ability to do anything. No good. Alternatively, what's this? Yep. Um, Unable to basically break locks, so I can't just turn around 180 degrees and move because the camera constantly keeps locking the wrong way. Uh, I need to see if there's a way to make that. No, 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 no. I think the. I think if you use the. Alternative combat system, it might be an option. Uh, which would mean game settings, Gothic 2, uh, go disabling Gothic 1 controls, which would give you more keys. Yeah, lock target. Uh, mana potion. Yeah, it's a uh, Uh, 
I don't like this in normal situations. So I'm hoping in here it might do what we want. Basically not lock unless I give it an order to lock on target. It's uh, it's still a little bit problematic. No locking problems. So we definitely need advantages here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, crap. Yeah, this won't work. The problem is we have a uh, we have controls, combat controls for the other system, so... Oh, there's the axe. Yeah, the body disappeared, but the axe remained. Again, items dropped in the wilderness seem to stay, even if bodies disappear. Uh, the control system definitely allow this... We're going to be using the Gothic 2 control system for the most part, very likely. Um, uh, the reason is quite simple. We are likely going to have to do a lot of these uh, trick fighting eyes. Well, it's not exactly that, but where we we have to maneuver quite a bit. Mm. Yeah. And what's the problem here? We have, yeah. I need to disable that. It's nothing in there. Okay. That should be better. It's a bit, definitely a bit different system, but ah, so the simple fact that you don't have to keep a target lock allows a lot more maneuvering options. If you want to do the simple fighting where you lock a target and do your left and right, left and right strikes for forward combinations, then the Gothic One system is, I feel, better. But the more complex maneuvering uh, you think you need, uh, the suckier it gets. So yeah, I don't think it's for us. Uh, I do need to train target locking at some point. Don't tell this to anyone. Probably uh, put it in something uh, a little bit more convenient. How about a T? That sounds a reasonable target locking button. It's not something we have to use. Uh, Will it ever change? Yeah. Nobody will learn anything from me. It's mm. so, uh, we have the use key there now too. That's no good. Yeah, this is getting complex. Where the hell am I gonna put that? Ah, uh, ha! Can I? Okay, Delki. Uh. Hey! Oh, that's better. That's the first I've heard of it. 
Now we can lock targets quite easily if we just need to. But usually we won't. Okay, there's be still two guys left, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We burn through all our mana, we could reduce one of them to almost death. Pretty much then and there. So if we manage to quickly wrap that up. We can probably well we can do one fight at a time if it comes to that. This highlights the problem we have, two little men. This isn't all that demanding of a fight and still we have to uh, constantly worry about running out of mana and running out of mana. Need to get the level up. Yep, 10 points. Probably should take the mana. Current plan is more or less to take it to around 60, probably because that's another cost increasing barrier, and then start to take temporary bonuses. The other stats we probably should start just start using them. I mean, I have zero interest in raising them the stats there at the moment, but it would be very very useful. Even a few points could uh, allow us to use a better weapon, for example. It's not a huge deal, because we can't really keep relying on these, but it would help. Same with the dexterity, it would help with the lock picking at least a little bit. Maybe help with the sneaking too, I don't know. How much experience do we need? Yeah, about 4500 to the next level. So we're not gonna see it anytime soon. I'd like to wrap this up, maybe go return the crossbow to the one guy. Although, I wonder which crossbow it is, because one of them was so expensive, yeah, 1200. So, we would probably get like 250 gold from this. I don't see, well, we're not exactly suffering from money at the moment, are we? And since it seemed to be all that much of a concern anyway, if we don't have to buy weapons or armor. Weapons simply because, well, I actually haven't looked at our options all that carefully. I think I'll probably change, try to change the chapter and then do a recheck on the shopkeepers, see if the new options pop up. Or recheck the old options. Uh, I do recall mana increasing items here and there, but it wasn't uh, exactly a priority when you couldn't cast these spells in the first place. Oh crap. I don't lock. Lock. One. Trying to zoom out the best I can, but I can't. Yes! Run as fast as you can! That didn't help, not really. Stop right there, you low life. Yeah, this won't work. I, I, I should have. Uh... The problem is, if I leave them alone, they'll heal up anyway, so it's uh, all a waste of time. But... Yeah, 
might as well load it at this point. I, I need to kill at this one of them. Seems like a decent place to attempt something. Yes! Run as fast as you can! Deep. This was uh, the problem was that I changed the control system and I'm not again used to the Gothic 2 control system. So I basically tried to all the time, a lot of time there to just put the weapon away so I could loot the other guy and uh, basically run away to heal. Uh, and this, this is turning into a quite an enjoyable experience. Uh, spellcasting also works differently with this control system, and I'm not sure what the difference is. Ah, I see. As you can. Yeah, that's the plan. You have to do things a bit differently. Because we went from a system that again has to, you have to hold down a button and use uh, direction controls to do anything to a system where you just need to press a button. So. Switch from one to the other isn't exactly totally smooth. Basic combat is definitely better with the Gothic 1 system. The problem is that's the only thing it can do well. Ah, yeah, better rest. I do hate going back and forth constantly, but I just don't feel like using the mana restoration things, for example, when more than half of the restoration capacity would just go to waste with our shallow mana pool. It just isn't worth it. Ah, but this should be the last. Oh my god. This was more painful than it needed to be. But it's another highlight of the fact that just having damage spells just won't work. Even if we would have a slightly stronger spells and a bigger pool, we'd still end up in a situation where we can basically kill maybe one, two. Uh, and then we are in a situation where our fighting capability probably isn't gonna be enough, especially against uh, ba proper bandits or guards or something like that. 
So what we need is we need really need a summon creature of some kind. Although at this point I would settle for a rune stone of any kind. Empty included. Uh, first here is the goblin skeleton, second is, uh, I think, wool. Which seems a bit odd to me, because at least for me, the goblin uh, skeletons were worse. Wolves aren't, are not a proper opponent. I'm certainly not gonna make a wool for runestone. So that would mean our very likely first summon creature is tier 3, and that's quite far away. I don't know how far away though. I'm assuming chapter 3, but I'm not sure about that. I'm certain ch chap uh, Circle 1 spells are for this uh, first chapter. Maybe it, it's uh, not quite as tight as uh, one circle per, per chapter. Either way. We need to keep an eye out on scrolls, though. It doesn't matter how good you are, how many mana points you are, what circle you've chained on, what type of items you carry with you, if you don't have the spell scrolls needed, so we might want to start buying them too. Because you, we don't know where you can get them, really. So there's no, no guarantee that once you miss up a point, you can get get the spell scroll later. So I guess if we can afford it, we should basically buy the spells we are in planning to use as soon as possible. You can always earn more money somehow, steal more or something, but there's no guarantee that you can get the spells later. Gin, gold nuggets, and salks of swamp weed. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. So we do reach the end, and what's our reward? Raw steel. Leather satchel, which means gold. Raw steel. Sheepskins. Yeah, this isn't worth all that much. If we would, um, um, we can probably manufacture something from raw steel at the same time. Why would we bother? Crap, we have uh, three lockpicks. Two. One. Ah, oh, that was lucky. And two more. Bolts, gold, axe, ham. So we basically got the lockpicks we spent there and some extra items. That's it. Um, 50 gold. So 1585 gold. What are these? Statue of Inas. Valuable Statue of Inas. What are all these statues of Inas as we keep fighting? That's the third one. One we stole, though, from the Paladins. No, nah, but who cares? Okay, at least we made some progress.